I don't know what just happened. You just stopped recording for some reason, just didn't want to hear me talk, it's fine. This video is a game changer, let's be real. Okay, first of all, um, I'm sure they need no introduction. Have you seen or heard of or talked about or have received a FabFitFun box? So I have partnered with FabFitFun to kind of do like an unboxing for you guys, for you guys to just see really quick what's in here. And I also have a code for you guys to use if you want to try a box. Everything in this box I have not seen yet. I've waited to open, which has been very hard. I like opened it and peeked, and I was like, I have to wait till I'm on camera. Okay, so let's just let's jump into it. <gasps> Cute. Okay, first thing I'm seeing is some magazines, gift cards. Ooh, look at that. Thirty dollar gift card. Seriously. <gasps> Oh, and HelloFresh, a $90 gift card. I've always wanted to try this because y'all know I'm not the best to cook. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is a exfoliate and detox pore cleansing clay max. Guys, I'm all about smelling stuff, so I just wanna smell it really quick. You know what it smells like? It smells like Aveda. Has anyone ever gone to the hairstylist place called Aveda? Next, oh my goodness, what? You'll be naked in one minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a coffee scrub. I have always wanted to try this. <gasps> I wanna smell it. <laughs> oh my, okay, you guys. I have seen this all over the internet. It's a makeup eraser. Have you guys seen the video? They get like a, an orange, cause then you know an orange has like pores and they get a makeup white and they wipe it and like most of the makeup comes off but it stays like in the pores and then you get this and you just wipe it and it all comes off. And I don't know if it's that dramatic because that's like crazy. If you guys wanna see how I use all this stuff and like me testing it, um, I will follow me on Instagram cause I'll do an update there on how all of this stuff works. Next is the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler from Dry Bar. Oh, it almost smells minty. That smells so good. It just smells like a hair salon. Like when you go to the hair salon and you come out looking fresh. All right, we have Epsom salt hand and body wash. Oh yes, honey. This is what I'm talking about. Calm. Oh calming and this is a body wash oh i cannot wait this is just like up my alley guys i'm about to have a spa day the next two things are perfect hair shampoo and conditioner another cool thing about fabfitfun is they support female founded companies so i think that's super cool because um girl power oh that smells really good i feel like everything that they gave me i can smell <laughs> okay oh <gasps> This, this is not nice. This just makes me want food. The proof is in the pudding. Ugh, guys, there is something about makeup being named after food that I cannot handle. I'm like hungry. Okay, let me tell you the names. There's rice pudding, butterscotched nana pudding, <laughs> spiced caramel, chia pudding, bread pudding, mango pudding and almond jelly. Oh. I almost wish that this smelled like bananas. I feel like it should, but it doesn't, it really doesn't, it doesn't smell like anything. Oh, okay, we have to do, I'm such a beauty guru. Okay, let's do spiced caramel, chia pudding, mango pudding. This is spiced caramel, <gasps> ooh, mango pudding, wow. I mean, I'm not a beauty guru, but that seems like they swatch pretty nice. Okay guys, that is the unboxing. This is like totally, you guys know, this is just up my alley of like spa feeling with like the face mask and the scrub and the makeup and the everything. I just, I love this. This is, this is it. The value of everything is $200, but you can get it for $49.99. And if you use the code LLAMA, you can get $10 off your first box. <laughs> like this just fits in so perfectly, like the bath stuff, the spa stuff. Now let's go learn how to totally redo our shower and our bath, come on. <sighs> you know, you think I had been gone so long that I would try to like get real pretty, like do my hair and not have my clothes inside out for you guys, but. <laughs>
I missed you and I know I say that in every single video but I truly truly enjoy you guys I enjoy your interactions with me and if you guys follow me on Instagram I have been super active there and showing my life and keeping you guys as updated as possible but YouTube I haven't seen you in a long time with that because oh stop it you look so beautiful YouTube how are you YouTube <laughs> This has been the most requested video on my channel because you guys are so obsessed with the tile paint, as am I. I'm painting my shower, you guys. I am terrified. I have thought about this for a very, very long time. I'm still nervous about it. My husband, he has been giving me confidence. He's like, babe, do it. Who cares if it doesn't work? We'll get new tile. Okay, he didn't say the new tile part, but he did say, who cares if it doesn't work? Just try it. <laughs> YouTube, I really missed you guys. You guys are the sweetest. And I can't wait for you guys to see this one and for you guys to give me all of your input and all of your advice and all of your compliments. All of it. So, let's get started. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay guys, it's so dark, the lighting is terrible, but I'm using Bullseye Primer 123. It's for all types of surfaces, tile, um, it's supposed to help blistering and peeling, and it helps the paint stick to glossy surfaces, which is exactly what I need with tile. So, let's do it. with the primer it looks super messy and super streaky but the first layer always looks like that especially with the dark tile so um, I'm gonna go to lunch with my mom I'm gonna leave this to dry 100% and then I think I'm gonna do the the outdoor patio paint <laughs> see you soon hi guys day two okay um, I'm being quiet right now because Paxton's napping. He is like half awake, half asleep, half crying, then well, went back to sleep. I don't know what's happening, but um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been using. Okay, now I am about to go in with this porch and patio floor paint. I got the color Ultra Pure White, and this is the same stuff that I used for um, my tile on my sink and for my tile on the floor. So. Day two, we're about to put on the first coat. I'm excited, but I'm still nervous. Okay, and the last thing that I forgot to mention was um, the type of roller I'm using. Make sure that you get, when you're doing your coats in the patio paint, um, foam rollers. So you don't want the ones that are all thick and like kind of chunky. They kind of leave like texture. You want um, a smooth surface one. And this one is just from Walmart. It was like $7. We're gonna use that, let's do it. coat um, I'm gonna go in with my paintbrush again and get like the edges and then I think it's gonna need one more coat and then I think it's actually gonna be done so I obviously didn't film myself doing this because it's the exact same thing but I basically gave it two more coats so a coat of primer and then three coats whoops a 
of paint <laughs> and it looks incredible. I'm gonna show you guys more in detail on that. Film this if it works out. <laughs> What'd you just say? I said only film this if it works. How am I supposed to only film if it works? Babe, don't film it now. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it, my whole shower area, and I was like, it looks a little too white. And I had another problem. I don't like the little hangy thing that you hang around the shower. I still might keep it, I don't know, I'm not too sure, but I feel like it just looks so cluttered and unorganized and I never know what to do with this stuff on there. So, <laughs> I ordered floating shelves off of Amazon. They were pricey, they were pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But Eric and I figured that like, we probably shouldn't get cheap ones or try to make them because they're going into the tile, which is a whole like foreign thing for us. We have never drilled into tile unless we are like demoing it. So we're gonna try to put some nice floating shelves in the tile. And I'm not gonna lie, Eric and I are terrified because we might ruin our tile. <laughs> Okay, these are the shelves. I have all my stuff preparing to decorate, but these are the shelves and I absolutely love the color. I think it's gonna add so much warmth to the white, white shower. Guys, also, I got these. They're peel and stick backsplash tiles. I have no idea how they're gonna hold up, but again, I am doing this for the sake of you guys. I'm testing it out to see if it works, so that if it works, you can do it. If it doesn't work, you don't do it. <laughs> okay, and my third DIY. Um, this is a candle holder, and we're gonna use it as a light fixture cover. <laughs> hey babe, what happened to your face? You bit me and gave me a hickey on my cheek. <laughs> Guys, I legit did. <laughs> he was being sassy. Actually, he was beating me at Mario Kart is what was happening. So I rolled over and, bit me. and sucked on his face and it gave him this <laughs> But in my defense, he does bruise like a peach. Oh, I'm so scared. Um, anyway, the reason that I bought this color of wood for the shelves is because it matches my bath board. And I just figured the wood would just really warm everything up since it is extremely white. So you're leveling it first? Yes. To make sure that it's all work. good. Is it good? Wow. Okay. So why, why did you just hammer? To get a little starting point. So that you know exactly where you're drilling? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're doing it. Oh my gosh, okay. What are you using here? The it's tip. a carbide tip masonry bit, which is for Tile, it just has a different tip. I don't know the actual explanation, but it has a different shape tip than regular drill bits. Interesting, okay. Here's why we put painter's tape. <laughs> so that the drill bit doesn't slip around. Slip around on the tile? On the tile. Oh. Guys, he got it! These are absolutely gorgeous. guys we are working on a light fixture which is really just a candle holder <laughs>
you're not a little shook, you're lying. <laughs> I am recording this update today, so I'm posting this video tonight, which means that this project, aka painting it and putting on the wall stickers, all the stuff that I was like, eh, I'm not gonna work in here, has been done for over a month. And the floating shelves have been here for over three weeks. So, I think it's safe to say that this works. I wanted to wait to post this video so that I could test it to make sure that it's worth posting because if it all just like melted off and the stickers just fell off, I'd be like, that's pointless. But they didn't. They work. We've had it for a month. None of the stickers have peeled off. The paint looks perfect. Y'all, if you can't stand the color of your tile, I hope you guys like this video and if you guys have any questions, leave them below and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and um, by the way, um, if you've seen my Instagram and you follow me on Instagram, don't worry, in that um, wine glass it was only uh, cranberry juice. <laughs>